wildlife ecologist Frank Mazzotti has been tagging and tracking alligators in the Florida Everglades for 15 years. He says the gator population here is less than half of what you'd expect in a thriving habitat. Many of the alligators he is finding aren't healthy. The best of them are skinny. They weigh maybe 80% of what an alligator should weigh. Uh, but what is of much greater concern to us is the proportion of alligators that are emaciated. Here's a healthy gator, and here's one that Mazzotti says is now typical in the Everglades. His team at the University of Florida is investigating why the change is happening. They invited us to join them on one of their research trips deep into the Everglades. Have you ever seen so many alligators in such poor condition? No. Shannon Estenos is the federal government's point person on Everglades restoration and says she's concerned about the declining health of alligators. When they're not doing well, something's going wrong in the ecosystem. They are the canary in the coal mine. Pumps like these were installed in the 1950s to drain much of the Everglades to develop South Florida. But scientists say the project polluted the area. It's both shrinking in size. Only 50% of the original Everglades has, is left. And what's left is damaged. More than $20 billion have been spent restoring the Everglades, but there's no estimate on when the work will be done or whether it will be enough to snap the alligators back to health. Begachaban, CBS News, Boynton Beach, Florida.